just when I think I'm not going to do another video, something pops up in class and I want parents to know about it. So we are telling time with second and third graders. You also tell in first grade. And there's different concepts like telling time to the minute, to the nearest half hour, to the elapsed time. And in this case, I'm just trying to get students to understand which hand is which, and that gets confusing for them. One of the visuals I use is this. So I mentioned to them that the second hand is the speedy hand. It goes around the fastest. Not every clock has the second hand. We also have the hour hand. It's the shortest word. It's also the shortest hand. So I put the shortest word and shortest hand, stick that together, and then the minute hand I have as the minute being the longest word and the longest hand. So we have the speedy hand, shortest word, shortest hand, longest word, longest hand. And that our starting point is always telling time with the hour first. I'm not worried about that they know that there's 60 minutes in an hour yet. I want them to just distinguish the hand first. That's all coming but I just want you to know that it's really helpful to help your kids distinguish the hands. 